here with head football coach Colby Carthel as the Lions prepare for the Javelinas of AM Kingsville on Saturday night. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how practice has gone this week preparing for the Javelinas. Uh, it's been a uh, warm practice. I'll tell you what, it, it feels like August around here, and, and uh, but it's been good. Uh, guys are excited uh, coming off a big win out there. Eastern New Mexico, and, and uh, you know, we've got a big game here at home this week, so they're excited to be back back at home, the friendly confines of uh, Memorial Stadium, and have a uh, high quality opponent like the Javelinas come to town. So, uh, AM Kingsville uh, is, uh, is much improved. They're, they're a program in our league that's on the upswing and uh, rising in the national polls, gave Midwestern everything they wanted, had them beaten, almost gave the game away. So, uh, their back's against the wall, and, and we'll get their A game on Saturday, and, and uh, looking forward to a, to a big showdown. One of the big keys I thought in the Eastern New Mexico win was the offensive efficiency scoring touchdowns on the first five drives. Definitely put it out of reach. What's the key to our offensive efficiency so far this season? You know, I think it's just the standard we set in practice and, and uh, you know, coaches do a great job of holding the players accountable and, and they don't, you know, they're not allowed to take a wrong step, run a wrong route. We do it again and, and uh, start practice over. So they, they know what's expected of them. They know the standard and, and uh, it doesn't matter if you're a one or two or three, you step on the field. Uh, we expect the, the same uh, results and the same uh, efficiency and productivity out of our offense. And so far, they've done a great job producing. Talk a little bit about the uh, lack of turnovers on offense. At this point, the only team in the nation hasn't turned the ball over, knock on wood. Is there anything special we do to not turn the ball over? Uh, no, but with that question, you've probably guaranteed uh, at least uh, one turnover on against AM Kingsville. So, uh, but it is, uh, you know, again, it goes back to practice, ha practice habits and uh, taking care of the ball, you know, in, in every drill that we do. And, and it's, it's uh, hammered home. We know that's the biggest key to victory is winning the turnover margin. So the amount of time we spend trying to create turnovers on defense and protecting the ball on offense is uh, people, uh, people probably shake their head at it. But it, it's something that's practiced and something that's expected and our kids uh, uh, take it serious. And so, uh, you know, I think the, the productivity and the, and the lack of uh, mistakes is, uh, is showing up. On the defensive side of the ball, uh, different look than last week, held Eastern New Mexico to half their season total, but a completely dif different offensive style. What's been the defensive focus this week? You know, I think it's it's just preparing to what you're going to see, and, and they did a great job last week in, in uh, holding those guys to you know national leader in rushing as a team and as an individual, and held them to well less than half their uh, normal productivity. So uh, hats off to them, and and they've got another great challenge. One of the best receivers in our conference coming to town, really good uh, quarterback. Uh, Coach Wilkinson has a great offense uh, uh, coming in, so uh, they, their backs. Uh, going to be uh, tested and, and uh, burden will be heavy trying to slow down the, the hoggies, but I, I think they'll, uh, they'll have a good game plan and they'll be ready. Big weekend, lots of home games, Hall of Famer, three football players going in the Hall of Fame. Hoping to have a great crowd. What message do you have for the fans this weekend? Texas A&I, East Texas State, you know, 63 times these, these uh, historic programs have met. I think there's something like 49 uh, Lone Star Conference champions between championships between the two teams. It, it doesn't get much better than the Hoggies versus the Lions. So I uh, hope everybody comes out. Should be an epic battle and, uh, and a great time. Saturday night, got Bodark Bash. Commerce, Texas is a place to be in East Texas right now. So hope to see everybody out this weekend. All right, Coach Carthel, we'll talk to you right here at Memorial Stadium following the game against the Javelinas on Saturday night.